The Apple Watch over the years has had an unassailable lead as far as smartwatches are concerned, even though the Apple Watch is limited to the Apple iPhone users. One of the reasons for that is Google's abject failure at making Wear OS a logical alternative to the Apple Watch. What that has meant is that the unassailable lead that Apple has had with the watch over the years now has grown even bigger with the Apple Watch Series 6 that's now here. So what are the headline changes with the Apple Watch Series 6? First of all, you get a blood oxygen monitor on your wrist. That's a great add-on to have. The Apple Watch Series 6 also does sleep tracking. Their always-on retina display is now brighter than before. There's a new processor under the hood, a new watch OS 7 that's running on this Apple Watch. Well, this also tells you how well you've washed your hands. Let's take a look at some of these changes and see how it's impacted the overall usability and experience. As far as the design is concerned, this Apple Watch looks pretty much like the Watch Series 5 and the Apple Watch Series 4 and pretty much the personality remains the same. Unless you're choosing two of the new cool colors, blue and product red. This is the blue watch with the product red strap. I love product red on pretty much every Apple product I've seen so far. It's my favorite across all. But the blue, mind you, here looks gorgeous. It's actually very, very good to look at. And it really makes the watch stand out a little bit in comparison to the colors that we've seen over the years. As far as the overall design is concerned, it's pretty much the same, which means if you already use an Apple Watch and have it invested in some accessories, some straps, they will all work on this watch as well. The sizes remain the same as before, 40mm and 44mm. This is the 44mm version. Now, the blood oxygen monitor is pretty interesting. You pretty much wear the watch on your wrist as you would normally do. And there's a blood oxygen monitor app on the watch itself. You open it, you keep your hand stable for 15 seconds and it'll give you a reading. Now, this reading basically will only happen if your hand is stable for those 50 seconds. Now, those 15 seconds of peace and tranquility is perhaps what you need in life sometime. You can't always be running around and still expect the health metrics to be perfectly normal. Another interesting feature with the Apple Watch Series 6 is the hand wash detection. This works pretty seamlessly. So every single time I've opened the tap, I've put my hands underneath and I've started washing, it takes about a couple of seconds to detect all those swish sounds from the water hitting against my hand and the hand rubbing against each other. The soap in there as well. It takes that reading and it starts a countdown. Now, you can't really cheat that countdown because unless you're washing your hands, your hands are moving around, it's being detected by all the sensors in the watch. If your hand just starts looking, if you start looking at the watch and not moving your hand, just keeping it underwater, this understands you trying to trick it and the countdown pauses for that time. So you can't really beat that 15 second clock, you have to wash your hands properly. That's important because, well, the coronavirus pandemic and has really brought about new awareness about personal hygiene. In terms of sleep tracking, this will now tell you every single metric about how well you've slept at night. If you're comfortable wearing a watch on your wrist to bed, well, I'm not personally, you will get all those metrics as well. In terms of the hardware changes, there's a new processor under the hood. The previous one was equally powerful. This one is even more powerful than before. In the real world, it really doesn't make much of a difference. Apps still open as fast as before. Multitasking is still pretty quick. And well, battery life is still quite robust. What this basically means in terms of hardware changes is that you will, if you're out and about under bright sunlight and exercising, you want to quickly glance down at the watch to see the metrics or how well you're doing, the always-on retina display is now brighter than before. It's much brighter than before, which basically means reflections and all that other stuff, kind of stuff that get in your way when you want to quickly glance down and continue with your exercise will not bother you anymore. All in all, the Apple Watch Series 6 continues to be what the Apple Watch has always been, a pretty slick, wholesome package on your wrist. It's a phone if you buy the LTE version as well. It's a very competent smartwatch overall. Nothing really comes close. All in all, with the Series 6, Apple has taken all of that consistency, that, that familiarity that you have, added a few more things to it and made it even more wholesome. The Apple Watch Series 6, incidentally, is not exactly a revolutionary upgrade, but it's more of an incremental upgrade. So if you have a Watch Series 5 and you don't really need a blood oxygen monitor on your wrist right now, immediately, you might not want to rush out and buy the Watch Series 6. But for anyone who's looking to buy an Apple Watch for the very first time, this could be a very, very interesting prospect because the sort of features this has, including carrying on with the heart rate monitor, the ECG, and every single other metric, 
this pretty much becomes a very very future proof investment. The Apple Watch Series 6 is now available in India and you can try one of these cool new bands as well.